Now turning to domestic politics, Korean lawmakers ended their week with another confirmation hearing for a prospective minister to join President Moon's cabinet. They grilled the nominee for the labor ministry on several ethical controversies. Shin Se-min has this report. Labor Minister nominee Cho Dae-up faced the lawmakers' questions today, and they spent much of the session bringing up the nominee's past wrongdoings, including a record of driving under the influence of alcohol. Cho came clean and apologized over his driving offense, saying even he couldn't forgive himself. But that wasn't the only ethical concern opposition party lawmakers grilled him over. There was also a claim that he had engaged in business activities by working as an outside director at a polling agency without the permission of his school in 2012. And to this allegation, Cho answered by saying that he had done nothing to generate personal profits. When questioned on policy-related matters, Cho, the former vice chief of President Moon Jae-in's think tank, said that he will try and foster a climate where fundamental labor rights are fully guaranteed. He also promised that he will boost President Moon Jae-in's policy of income-led growth by raising the minimum wage, currently at $5.60 per hour, to some $8.70 by the year 2020. And Cho also said that he'll improve communication among the government, laborers, and employers. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.